Yo, yo, yo. CPA Strength here, back again. Strongest in the game. <laughs> this is Accounting for Beginners 126 of my classic series. Right over here, you'll find the best accounting playlist on the internet. Seriously, it's really good. It has all my all, all my basic, basic accounting videos in there. A best, really good library. Anyways, please like, comment, share, subscribe. If, if, per one, I'll give you a cookie in the mail. If you do all four, that's four cookies. Four cookies, who doesn't like that? We're doing journal entries. This is our third installment. This is our third journal entry we're doing on this one. 126, and we're just following along. We got, we got a whole bunch of stuff to do. Let's get into it. What do we want to know here? Before we get in, before we get into the actual what's going on in the in the company, let's go to D C Aid Lert. This is really what you got to know for for journal entry, journal entries, especially. This will help you. But it is good for a bunch of other things as well. If the asset draw expenses are increasing in value, you debit them. Asset draw expense decreasing in value, you would credit them. Liability, equity, or revenue increasing in value, you would credit them. If liability, equity, or revenue are decreasing in value, you debit them. I also, from the last one, you know, I, we had cash written down. You gotta know cash is an asset because a lot of these journal entries are gonna involve cash. On April 1st, Adams, Adams and Family Inc. opened and we're doing, we're doing the, the accounting cycle practice. So what is the problem? All right, so you know, you know, what is the problem? What is the problem? You've got debits, credits, asset, drug expense. Like, I ain't got no problem, dog. I got no problem, bro. You know debit equals credits. You know that. You know debits on the left, credits on the right, depending if Asset, draw, expense, liability, equity, or revenue are increasing or decre increasing or decreasing will determine whether they are debited or credited. This is paid the premium on property and casualty insurance policies for the year. You know what? Let's just let's just ease. I just want to ease your guys' mind. So we're gonna do cash right away because you've been practicing journal entries with cash. You know, now you've been practicing and you, you have DCA learn and, you, and you've even written cash as an asset. You have cash next to asset over here. So you, you, you're ready to tie, let's, you're ready to do a little two, you're ready to do a little two piece on this cash right quick. Get half this journal entry right. I know you, I know you. And you're looking dapper today as well, you. What did you do? <laughs> so you paid, the premium on property and casualty insurance policies for year 1800 paid if you pay somebody money if you paid somebody cash of 1800 dollars do you have is your cash increasing or is your cash decreasing if you paid somebody that means your cash is going to be decreasing you know cash is an asset what happens if an asset is decreasing you would credit it Right, we have cash as an asset right here, DC Adler. Uh, it is, if it was increasing, we debited, but we paid somebody, so it is decreasing. So we are going to credit $1,800 in cash. That's going to be our credit. What's going to be our debit? Why did we have that outlay of cash? Why did we? Why do we have that outlay? Why do we have less cash now? You got to know these things, right? I always want to know why do I have less cash? Bills, dog, bills. That's why you got less cash, bills. Hold up, there it is. So why did we pay this? We paid, we had the outlay of cash for the premium on property and casualty insurance policies for the year. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna write insurance for the year. That's why you had this. Now, uh, we gotta read into the facts. Are we, did we already use up the year? Like, did we already use up the year of insurance and now we're paying it? Because that would like be an expense, just an ordinary business expense. Um, or did we just move in on April 1st, look at your sheet and we have it up here, April 1st and now on April 4th, we're doing this, we're doing this journal entry here. April 4th, cash outlay of $1,800. We have only, we've only been there, we've only been there like three days. The insurance that we're paying is a prepaid. Now we just did a prepaid insurance. We just did, what did we do? We just did prepaid rent. That would have been 
an expense, but it's an asset. Now we have a prepay because we're we're setting up for the future here. We have we have a future economic benefit. Did we already use up the insurance, or is this a pre, or are we prepaying the insurance? Yes, we're prepaying the insurance because we started the business on April 1st, on April 4th, on April 1st, which it says here where our journal entry is for April 4th, three days later. So we did not use insurance of a year yet because we just started our business. Now I'm just going what's on these sheets here. You know, you don't, might not always know that. I'm just going what's on these sheets, so that's, that's what we're rolling with here. So if you have a prepay, you haven't used it yet, it's an asset. It's gonna be an asset to your company, and you might just wanna know that. You could put, if it's, if it's something, you could put prepaid next to asset, also where you have cash, and then you'll know for next time if you have a prepaid, it's an asset. You can write it down next to a DC Adler. We have prepaid insurance. We know prepaid insurance is an asset. It's providing a future economic benefit for us. We haven't used it yet. It's a prepaid, and a prepaid is also is an asset because we're going to use it later. So it's an asset to the company, just kind of like our money is. We're going to use that later to help our business. So we're going to have $1,800. We know $1,800 because that's how much the prepaid year was. And then the uh, it's going to be prepaid insurance. Did that one back? We did that one backwards, but you kind of knew it was going to be $1,800. And then we've determined prepaid. We determined prepaid insurance is an asset. And here's the asset on DC Adler. And we, we also know from there, if an asset is increasing in value, we're gonna debit it. So we have prepaid insurance, debit for $1,800, and our credit is $1,800 cash, because we have cash leaving. We have $1,800, we have debits of $1,800 equal $1,800 of cash. That is our, that is our video to uh, keep going in this accounting cycle here. I'll look for you for the next one. Deuces. Trump!